Hey everybody, Sean here from Psalm Wine Club and I have got Psalm Wine for you. This is the 2019 Gerard Bertrand and 560 Cote de Roussillon Village Totevel. Yeah, that's a mouthful. Totevel is one of the villages that is allowed to append its name to the Cote de Roussillon Village appellation. It is a village of note, not just for the quality of the wine that they produce, but also for the history of the region. And they miss the name and 560. Now, in this case, that's referring to 560,000 years, uh, because that is the age of human remains that they have found in and around the area uh, of the village of Totebel. It is considered one of the cradles of humanity uh, for the length of time that humans have resided there. But it's a very small village. It's less than a thousand people that actually live in Totevel. But the wines are spectacular. Gerard Bertrand is also the largest biodynamic wine producer in the world. They farm biodynamically about 950 hectares of grapes spread across the Languedoc and Roussillon regions of the south and southwest of France. So Totevel is kind of down near Perpignan and kind of closer to the Spanish border, uh, very firmly into the Roussillon. Uh, but you're using the same grape varieties, so Grenache, Syrah, and Carignan in this case. Uh, let's taste it. It's like... You expect a wine of this, I mean, alcohol and concentration to have more staining, more pigment, more color even, but it's not. This is still like moderately intense in color, definitely like a deeper ruby color in the glass for sure. And there is like a strong spice component here. There's lots of kind of dried wildflowers, there's black raspberry, black plum, denser, kind of riper cherry notes as well. Almost like cherry juice. I love the texture and the complexity of this. This satisfies the kind of cravings you have for a fuller bodied red in an approachable kind of summer ready package. Rhone varieties do so great in the summertime because the tannins are a little bit lower here. This is not gonna be like super, super grippy, dry your mouth out tannins, but the, the weight and the body, the alcohol is there, the intensity of flavor is there. little bit of kind of smoky toasty spice character as well these wines go great with anything that's grilled uh, whether that is just like simple barbecue whether you're doing lamb or pork ribs or heck even like burgers like just a little bit of char a little bit of smoke really brings out some of those smoky spicy notes in the wine And even though the wine is, like I said, heady and alcoholic and fuller bodied, it's not out of balance. It is not overblown. It's not too kind of much in one direction. Uh, aside from the direction of delicious. That was a bad joke. Don't worry about me. All of the wines that Gerard Bertrand produces are are delicious. They have some incredible pieces of property in tuning, including um, Domaine de Segalus in Languedoc. Uh, but they also produce these like incredible regional specialties from small villages scattered across the uh, the Languedoc and Roussillon. And I think this is a fantastic example of a region that doesn't get much love in terms of international representation. Uh, Gerard Bertrand is really kind of doing the work of 
spreading the news about the Languedoc and Roussillon around the world. So I hope you enjoy it. Let me know what you guys throw onto the grill. Uh, I would love to uh, see pictures of food. I would love to hear about what you're eating and what you're drinking. And uh, until the next time, we'll see you then. Cheers.